Hi, I'm Barbara and welcome back to Wiki Design. One question that we get asked a lot is what theme do you use to build your websites? And the answer is we don't actually use themes. We use something called a page builder and make 100% customized designs for your business. We don't customize themes, we don't use templates or anything like that. So what is the difference between using a theme and using a page builder? We're going to get into that in today's video. Before we get started, are you entered into our giveaway to win a free $5,000 website? All you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel and fill out our official entry form. We'll put a link to that in the description box down below. You need to make sure that you enter before December 31st. So pause this video, go over and fill out that entry form and make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel for your chance to win. Okay, let's get back to the video. So what is a theme? A theme basically is a template created by a WordPress developer. You can load that template onto your website and change out your content and your images and stuff like that. There's also a few other things that you can customize with themes, and it really depends on the theme that you're using. But usually you can customize your colors, your fonts, and sometimes there's a predetermined layout that you can use to load onto your pages. So you can have like a home page layout, a gallery layout, a layout for your services page, or even a layout for your blog. There's a couple different things that you can do with themes. And like I said before, it really depends on the theme that you're using, how much or how little you can customize. There are thousands of themes available for WordPress. Some themes are free and you can get those in the WordPress repository. And sometimes you have to pay for themes at places like Envato or Theme Forest. Page builders, on the other hand, allow you to create your own custom theme. Instead of using predetermined layouts from a theme, you have full control over your design. You can customize every page of your website, your header, your footer, your blog layouts, even e-commerce pages. Page builders really allow you to have complete creative control. Now, because of the way WordPress works, you do have to have a theme installed on your website in order for a page builder to work. WordPress requires a theme, but that theme that you use can be really bare bones. So we use Elementor as our page builder and we use their Hello theme, which is a really lightweight fast loading theme and doesn't have a lot of the bells and whistles of other themes because you don't really need them. If you're building everything with Elementor, you can customize whatever you want and don't need to customize those theme settings. We prefer using page builders over themes because it allows us to create completely customized designs for our clients that they can actually update themselves. Our clients don't know how to code, they're not developers, but they still do want to make content updates every now and then. If we created them a completely custom site from scratch, they would have no idea how to update it, but using a page builder allows them to make those updates easily. Elementor in particular has a ton of integrations built in, which is another reason why we like to use this page builder. It works with so many different platforms. Just to name a few, you can use it with WooCommerce, Adobe Font, MailChimp, ConvertKit, MailerLite, and it seems like they're adding new ones all of the time. They're also constantly adding new features to Elementor. They have pop-up functionality, so you don't have to use a separate plugin in order to do that. They have reCAPTCHA, so again, you don't have to use another plugin to get that on your forms. And most recently, they just added Yoast SEO integration into their platform. So that makes things really easy to manage because you don't have to manage all of these different plugins. If it's in Elementor, you just have to manage that one plugin. Another reason that we use page builders is there's a really strong community behind them. Over 5 million people use Elementor. That's a huge amount of people and their community is growing every day. It's really well supported and there's tons of new features being added by contributors all of the time. This isn't really something that you get with themes. Often developers will abandon their old themes to work on a new project. And if you have that theme installed on your website, you might be out of luck when it comes to support or updates because they just don't support it anymore. Another reason we decided to use page builders to build our websites is because WordPress is really changing. 
Over the years, they've made so many different changes to the platform, including the Gutenberg editor and the block editor system. So we really think that themes are going to be something of the past. Themes are kind of dying, and it seems to be that more and more people are using page builders, and even WordPress itself is going towards the page builder or theme builder route versus using themes or templates. I hope this video cleared up any confusion you might have had about the difference between WordPress themes versus page builders. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell to receive notifications whenever we post a new video. See you next time.